because I just came home from work and I'm still like in my work clothes. I want banana bread. Sorry. Put you guys this way. Okay, I want banana bread. But Okay, cool. Sorry. I didn't move something out of the way. Okay, so I want banana bread, but I don't think I have enough flour. If I have like a cup of flour, I'm good. Ooh, I'm good. Please let me have a cup at least. Oh yeah, I have a cup of flour. Yes! Cup of flour. I need some sugar. Sorry, I need some sugar now. Um, I, I think I have brown sugar, but I'm just gonna do the trick with like the molasses and stuff um, and regular sugar. Now, do I want walnuts? I do want walnuts. Banana walnut with pumpkin seeds. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh, with pumpkin seeds, you guys. Banana walnut with pumpkin seeds. Should I be crazy and throw a little, throw a little cranberries in here? No. no, no. Uh, this is how much walnuts I have, but I think I do have some walnuts up there, so it's fine. I have three bananas it's about to go bad so i might as well just utilize that pumpkin seeds all right okay i think i have all the ingredients except for the walnuts which i need my stepladder for ah. all right so i got the walnuts out um this is how much flour i have i was kind of hoping for like a mound of um flour like a like push like just a a heaping cup of flour but um no um i added some triple fiber to it because fiber is important and i got the walnuts out um i got my half a cup of sugar which because i didn't have because i didn't have a like amount of flour i did use like the same amount of like instead of a half a cup um, I use like, was this even half a cup? No, this is one fourth. One fourth of a cup, sorry. Put one fourth of a cup of sugar in it. And now I'm going to put some molasses into it and like mix it all up. Those are the bananas. I'm really excited. Okay, now it's time to mix it all up. <laughs> and trust the process, okay, you guys? Trust the process. I need two hands for this. Also, I found my brown sugar while I was looking for the baking soda that I need, which I'm starting to panic because where's my baking soda? Okay, so this is it all mixed together. You can still see some like molasses pieces in there, but I'm thinking if I should just put a little bit of brown sugar in it anyway. I just don't want it to be too sweet, you know, but I am adding nuts to it. Oh. That's the baking soda. Um, hmm. Hmm. Should I? No, it's fine. Yeah, it's cool. The bananas are sweet anyway. I have my oven preheating. And I have my butter melting on the stove. Now it's time to mash up my bananas. I think I'm only going to use two bananas. Because I'm using... Should I use two? Uh, yeah, I'm going to use two bananas two of these bad boys <sighs> all right so here's my mushed up banana and sugar i like to keep some larger pieces um the larger pieces will be broken down when i put like the flour and stuff inside of it but i do like to have like kind of like chunks in it um sometimes i do sometimes i don't it depends on like my mood to be honest with you but here is the butter i'm just gonna pour the butter in now I put my walnuts in here and then wrapped the rest so I could put it back on top of my cabinet. And I filled up my walnuts here and I made a mess, but I think I cleaned it all up probably. All right, anyway, so um, this is my liquid. I just gotta get an egg, just one egg for this recipe. Um, and yeah, then I can start mixing my flour and my baking soda together. <laughs> I don't put salt because my butter is salted, so yeah. Okay, so I just popped my, plopped my egg in it. This is a large egg too, 
Um, usually I beat it before I mix it in, but I'm just gonna beat it like on one side and then mix it all together, like so. There we go, there we go. All right, now I shall assemble my things in. So my flour, my bacon soda. This is really, again, this is a very friendly recipe. So I could just mix it all together. And then the walnuts. Which, okay. Ooh, now I'm just gonna mix it all together. Usually I'll use a spatula to like fold it, but no. Oh, my oven's done preheating. Honestly, this only took me like 10 minutes to do. From start to finish is probably gonna be like 10 minutes all right i need a spatula and i need two hands you know what i realized i could have been using this little tripod this whole time i don't know why i forgot anyway this is what it looks like i'm about to pop it into my pan i do have some muffin um i do have some muffin mix um muffin tins on standby just to see oh wait maybe oh it's gonna overflow a little bit Okay, I could put it all in one, the mini one. I, oh, I didn't want it to be really full. That's why I took out the muffin tins. Ah, I wanted like little, like <laughs> small pieces, <laughs> which makes no sense. I'm just going to make this and not the muffins. It will puff up quite a bit though. I oiled the pan instead of um, like oil in it and flour in it because, well, you guys know why. I don't have. I think I'm gonna put these muffins away. Muffins in. All right, time to decorate the top. I was gonna use the banana to like cut, um, like bananas like slices and then have it like you know like around but I realized that, that will not be very smart of me because I don't like overly mushy bananas like I don't mind pieces of bananas in it but like I don't know also don't like it and it's like mouthful of like smushy banana I'm very peculiar I'm very peculiar in my taste I swear um, especially like right now more than ever okay it's a lot of nuts but it's okay it's gonna be good for me this is definitely gonna overflow but i'm hoping it just like poofs up and not like um overflows too badly anyway all right into the oven you go but one last look at my banana walnut pumpkin seed bread before it goes into the oven. Whew, this literally gonna take like, sorry. That's literally gonna take like an hour to an hour 45 minutes to be ready. Okay, so I just need to wipe off the counter and then my mess is clean. I am about to go down the air conditioner because it got super hot in here. And I'm about to take a shower and enjoy the night. <laughs> Which is really early, you can see it's early. It's like seven, I think. <sighs> okay 45 minutes later and it's done <sighs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay so here is a banana walnut bread and um yeah i have some tea boiling now oh these are the tupperware that i just took out my <laughs> i just took them out of my bag because like i forgot they were in my bag you know what i mean um from work and it just kept like adding more to it. Anyway, have tea going, have my banana um, walnut bread. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good, I can't, I'm gonna take a piece and see. Okay, so here's my tea. I had got this tea for my grandmother um, for her birthday. Um, and I bought one for myself because I was like, oh, that sounds really great. Anyway, so this is the first time I'm actually going to try it and i <laughs> had my cake and then i looked and it said 
cover and steep for 10 to 15 minutes there's no way so i ate the cake and then i wrapped it up here um i'm having like the worst like heartburn of my life you guys when i tell you it's bad like it actually hurts <laughs> like it actually hurts like my heartburns before today was like annoying but now it's like painful and i have like the natural tongue so i'm gonna try i'm just gonna have that but whoo chow is really bad <laughs> okay real time it looks like i was drinking from it but i actually just poured the water up to here i didn't like um drink anything yet but it only steeped for like six minutes i just want to drink my tea i just want some tea <laughs> anyway i'm about to go to bed i'll talk to you guys in the next clip i ended up packing up the banana bread i have four slices they're like on the thicker side and yeah it's the next day by the way and i am frying up the end piece of the other one i just put butter on one side just gonna have it in a frying pan just getting all good and warm Remember when I told you guys that I'm trying to learn how to corn roll my hair or just braid my hair? I did this this morning <laughs> and um, I didn't put any like edge control or anything like that, but I did it this morning and it took me, whew, it took me 30 minutes. Oh, sorry about the lighting, but it took me 30 minutes. So now I have 20 minutes to find an outfit and to make breakfast for work. No first breakfast anyway. I ended up ordering lunch for work. I didn't have enough time, but it turned out really good. It was really yummy. And I got to have my favorite soda at the moment. Guess why? Watermelon! It's so good. I love it so much. Before I show you guys this next clip, just know that I was going through it. I was really emotional the night before. I'm like really achy. Drama with my boyfriend. And I'm just really, uh, just really emotional. And I'm trying to be positive. Keep that in mind. Good morning. This is what my hair looks like right now. After one day of wearing it, I did tie it up originally, but then my scarf came off. I hope I get good at like, oh, put you guys up here. I hope I get good at doing hair, you know, for my baby. I think it's different when you do your own hair as opposed to doing someone else's hair. Anyway, I'm making my first breakfast and it's turkey sausage, smoked turkey sausage with egg and a, che a cheese. <laughs> Some cheese. I was going to have bread with it, but honestly. <sighs> Sorry. I literally just woke up and the first thing I did was make breakfast. I'm not, I'm not hungry. I know I'm not hungry, but I know... Um, I need to eat something, so. Ugh. Yeah, I'm like really struggling with like eating, you guys. I mean, like my appetite came in for like a week or two and then it went back to like no appetite unless it has something to do with like watermelon. If it has something to do with watermelon, I'm in 100%. But like, I realized that like I'm kind of forcing myself to eat again. And I haven't thrown up since I took the B12, B6 vitamin, so I think I'm good. But, like, I really have to, like, force myself to eat stuff. Like, right now, I don't want to eat it. <sighs> but I have to force myself. Because I feel like I'm starving my baby, you know? Even though my baby is the one that's like, no, we're not going to eat that. Anyway. I have a plate here. I could put it on the plate, but I decided to scoop it up from the pan and eat it over the plate like this. I really want an over easy egg. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm rereading this or like skimming through it again book came in handy which at first i thought it didn't come in handy because like actually i'm gonna move you guys down 
this book i thought it was like overrated like hardcore overrated so when i first read it i literally just like skipped a bunch of chapters but um yeah i skipped a bunch of chapters but now i'm just gonna reread it so it was really emotional that day so i ended up having for lunch bread and butter with hot tea um that's the end of the vlog you guys will see me when i post another video at 2 p.m and i'll see you guys in the comments below